Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Shane here from RNS TCG. Uh, today, going to get a first look at a play booster box for uh, this is Mirza Karlov Manor. Um, first time that Wizards and Magic are doing play boosters. So, we're going to check it out and see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to do a full box opening. Um, also, as I'm sure you've already noticed, the shrink wrap on this, although it definitely still says Wizards and has their logo on it, is absurdly loose. Um, very suspect. Uh, we buy our product through a third party that gets it directly from the distributor. So, unless it was tampered with it, the distributor, then it should be fine, but... Um, He's assured me that many of the other ones he got in are like this, because I got several like this. So, I don't know. It looked suspect, and it was already ripped right there, which that happens, I guess. But, yeah. Well, we'll see. Hopefully they're <laughs> all there, and hopefully nobody's gone through them already. Moment of truth. Alright. Yada yada yada. The usual shit here. Weird window. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean they shifted, but I was shaking it around. Um is there supposed to be a box topper in these? Guess not, because there isn't one. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the packs, make sure they... No, they don't appear to be resealed in there, the ones that tear like this. So, I think we're good. Let me just double check, make sure that we got all... Should be 36. Make sure we got them all in here. Okay, so we're looking good then. I was just, you know, a little worried because that shrink wrap looked uh, a little suspect. So, anyways, let's get to opening packs. Um, I'll do like I usually do. I'm not going to go through and read every card. And most of the cards I'm going to go through pretty quick, except for, you know, foils, rares, mythic rares, whatnot. We got our mythic rare counter up here in the corner with my lovely mug here. So let's begin. All right. Tokens in the spot and lands. Foil, undercover crocodelf. Crocodelf, crocodile detective. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they really went out there with uh, the types. And sorry if you're having a hard time seeing this lighting in here is shit. And a rare Wojcik investigator, angel detective. Uh, another rare. Um, these are, you know, play boosters, so they're going to have, they're going to be closer to, you know, they're in between a, what a draft and a set was, basically. Uh, Lost in the Maze is another rare. All right. Of course, you know, why wouldn't they give us two of the same card in, in the pack, you know? Why wouldn't they? All right. Ooh, a signed art card. Ooh. And I guess these are different too because they, uh, you know, the set ones always had the art cards. These ones don't necessarily. So, full art mountain. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, foils, Gravestone Strider, Rare, Barbed Servitor. Only one rare in this one. It's got a weird border. Oh, it's like a file folder. <laughs> it 
It's definitely giving off uh, kind of new Capena vibes to me just because of the theme kind of. Uh, the, the foil is Case of the Gateway Express. And we have our first Mythic Rare. Ansrog the Quake Mole. Ah, oh, we got the Mole God. Sweet. Um, Legendary Creature, Mole God. He costs two, a red, and a green. Uh, whenever Ansrog the Quake Mole becomes blocked, untap each creature you control. After this combat phase, there's an additional combat phase. That is really good. <laughs> um, three, two red, two green. Ansrog must be blocked each combat this turn of Able. And he's an 8-4. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty cool card. What is that supposed to be? Is that someone? A leg of something? <laughs> Food equipment. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and we got a spammer in the chat, of course. A bot. Something about 18 plus con content or something. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's cool looking forest. Oh, we got a list card here. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Foil, hard-hitting question. Rare, Axbane Ferox. Death Touch guy, nice. Oh, Professor Plum in the study with the wrench. <laughs> oh, we got the wrench and the rope in this one. Oh, that's kind of a cool border. Extract a confession from the foil. Rare is reenact the crime. There's the knife. Lead pipe. Well, they're just equipments. Cool. Of course they of course they got murder in this set. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> that only makes sense. for a foil rare doorkeeper thrall that is pretty cool ability um he has flash and flying and artifacts and creatures enter the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger that could be <laughs> kind of devastating uh, another rare here relive the past lumbering laundry huh those cool porters. All right. Griff knot tracker for the foil. Rare is ill timed explosion. Well, still only at one mythic. This pack doesn't want to freaking open there. Oh, foil of uh, one of those cool. Actually, that foil treatment, or that foil on with this art looks pretty damn cool. Insidious Roots. Oh, it's an enchantment that lets you all your creatures tap for one man of any color. That's cool. 
that's actually a pretty cool card. Uh, the rare Lamplight Phoenix. <laughs> Chalk outline. Uh... I. <laughs> Based on the names of all these cards, I don't see a lot of these cards being reprints in the future, in future sets. Oh, got another spammer in the chat. Uh, we got another uh, list card, Burden of Guilt. Foil, Rift, Burst, Hellion. Rare, Assassin's Trophy. A clue with who's on it. Uh, another list card, Nod to the Bone. Foil, Slice from the Shadows. Rare, Analyze the Pollen. What does this one do? Cost one green. As initial cost to cast a spell, you may collect Evidence 8. Exile 8 cards with 12 mana value 8 or greater from your graveyard. Search your library for a basic land card. If Evidence was collected, instead search your library for a creature or a land card. Reveal that card, put it in your hand. Okay. Another uh, rare, Raucous Theater. That's a Swamp Mountain. And you get Surveil one when it enters, enter is tapped. This is cool. I've, uh, <laughs> I think I might end up making, I've actually been putting together cards to make a slime commander deck and uh, this will go in there quite nicely. Slime against humanity, two and a green, sorcery, create a zero zero green, ooze creature token with trample, put x plus one plus one counters on it where x is two plus the total number of cards you own in exile and in your graveyard that are oozes or are named slime against humanity. A deck can have any number of cards named slime against humanity. This is, I'm looking forward to making this deck. It's gonna be fun. Oh, we got Shock in here. Oops. Knocking shit over. Foil Mountain. Uh, the Foil Unscrupulous Agent. Rare, 10th District Hero. Red herring. Uh, okay. Wow, still only one mythic. Um, yeah. Foil forest. Uh, list card ghost quarter. Foil, Suspicious Detonation. Uh, the Rare, Prof's Edict Memory. Keeper Thrall. Let's put that in the rare pile, I guess. Uh, another rare. Tessa, Opulent Oligarch. Bedroom Creature, Human Advisor. A 2 3 for 1, a white and a black. Death Touch. At the beginning of your end step, investigate for each opponent who lost life this turn. 
Whenever a clue you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token flying. This ability triggers only once each turn. Oh, okay. Uh, the rare cryptic coat. Let's see what this does. Artifact equipment for two and a blue. When it enters the battlefield, cloak the top card of your library, then attach cryptic coat to it. To cloak card, put it onto the battlefield face down as a 2-2 creature with ward two. Turn it face up any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card. A quick creature gets plus one plus zero and can't be blocked. One in a blue, return cryptic coat to its owner's hand. Oh, okay, so it basically makes your top card, no matter what it is, into a creature. That's that's kind of cool. Interesting. Kind of plays in, it's kind of like a morph deal. That's a cool looking murder. Okay. Foil Mountain, Foil Detective Satchel. Uh, rare is Officious Interrogation. It's a uh, white and a blue. It costs. A white and a blue more to cast for each target beyond the first. Okay, so it's like multi-target deal. Choose any number of target players. Okay, so it's more for commander card. Investigate X times where X is the total number of creatures those players control. Okay. Elephant detective. Oh, Jesus. Everything's a detective. Oh. This way is the foil. Rare Judith Carnage Connoisseur. Okay. I'm really surprised we've only had one mythic so far. Frustrated Phantom is the foil. Rare Yaris, Roar of the Old Gods. And a rare land. Cleric here, huh? Hmm. I currently have a. Uh, Pioneer Cleric deck, so that'd be one I might look into possibly. Uh, fanatical Strength for the rare. Plus three plus three and trample ton and turn for one and a green. Rare Kellen Inquisitive Prodigy. Oh, he has a adventure. Interesting. Meticulous Archive. <laughs> Private Eye, that's that's pretty funny. He's a giant eye. Oh, another slime against humanity. Cool. for the foil, deadly cover-up for the rare. Projector Inspector Foil. Drag the canal for the rare. What's this one do? It's a blue and a black. 
for an instant. Create a 2-2 two, two white and blue detective creature token. If a creature died this turn, you gain two lives, surveil two, then investigate. Okay. Cryptic Coat Foil, Rare Foil, cool. Lazov, Wearer of Faces for the Rare. Uh, blue and a Black for a 2-3 Legendary Creature, Shapeshifter Detective. Whenever, La whenever Lazov, Wearer of Faces, attacks, exile target card from a graveyard, then investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you may have Lazov become a copy of a creature card exiled with it until end of turn. That's a pretty cool card. And a mythic. That was weird. It had a rare and then a mythic underneath it. We have Undergrowth Recon. It's an enchantment for one and two green. At the beginning of your upkeep, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Okay, so I guess if you have some sort of mechanic where you're throwing away lands. Or New Capena Lands. Streets New Capena Lands, the ones where... Um, you get to search for a basic land, you gain a life, then yeah, actually that's a pretty good card. <laughs> All right, cool. Signed one. Big old bug. Is that the uh, oh, rot, rot Farm Mortipede, huh? Okay. Island. <laughs> Dog Walker for a foil. Audience with Tristani is the rare. Here's the Mortipede. Go figure he's in the same pack as the heart card. All right, we gotta get some more Mythics here. Two is pretty weak. Uh, here's another list card. Quintorius, Field Historian. Rare, Inside Source, or not the Rare, Foil, Inside Source. Rare, Blood Spatter Analysis. And of course, they liked, they really like to do this. They really like to put a foil and then the regular version of it in the same pack. Mind you, if it's a common, anyways. <laughs> Leader's Call for the Rare, and a Rare Land, Thundering Falls. The Candlestick. Another Murder. <laughs> Look at that dog. Magnifying glass for a foil. Rare case of the locked hot house. What does this one do? It's an enchantment case. Three and a green. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Okay. To solve, you control seven or more lands. Um, if unsolved, solve at the beginning of your end step. Solved. You may look at the top card of your library anytime, and you may play lands and cast creature and enchantment spells from the top of your library. Oh, that's pretty cool. Excuse me, that's pretty cool. And the rare land. All right, packs. Let's take a few. 
Good, because we need some more mythics here. This is pretty weak at the moment. Demand answers for the foil. Rare, Cranko's Buzz Crusher. Let's put these cards out here so you can see them. Insect Thopter, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Look at that goat. Airtight Alibi, Foil, Fugitive Code Breaker for the Rare, Stupid Chair I'm sitting in, it's hurting my back. <laughs> Swamp by Down on Crime for the foil. Doppelgang is the rare. What does this one do? XXX Green and Blue Sorcery for each of X target permanents. Create X tokens that are copies of that permanent. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, rare land. What colors was that? Green and blue. Okay. Starling Gorehound, Foil, Rare, Kylox, Visionary Inventor. Another slime against humanity. Kind of looking skimpy on the mythics. Foil Swamp, Foil Rune Brand Juggler, Rare Unyielding Gatekeeper. Silica Stalker, the foil. Mythic Rare. Uh, Kaya, Spirits Justice. Uh, Legendary Planeswalker Kaya, two, a white and a black. Uh, starts with three. Whenever one or more creatures you control and or creature cards in your graveyard are put into exile, you may choose a creature card from among them. Till end of turn, target token you control becomes a copy of it, except it has flying. Okay. Plus two, surveil two, then exile a card from a graveyard. Plus one, create a one-one white and black spirit creature token with flying. Minus two, exile target creature you control. For each other player, exile up to one target permanent, or one target creature that player controls. Okay, that's pretty cool. Enough. What do we got here? Another mythic rare. Two mythics in this pack. The Pride of Whole Clade. Ten and a green for a 215 legendary creature, Crocodile Elk Turtle. Okay, I'll turn that off there so we can see it. The spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total toughness of creatures you control. Okay, that's easy enough to get him out, I guess. Defender, for two and a blue, until end of turn, target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, gains whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw cards equal to its toughness, and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. That's a pretty cool card. <laughs> 
I get you lots of card draw. Gardener is our foil. Connecting the dots, rare. Oh, arena cards, my favorite. We got a foil rare, the Zoni, center of the web, elf detective, okay, uh, Onsrog's, Onsrog's rampage, rare, okay, well, we got four packs left, we've only gotten four mythics, that's pretty shitty pull rate. Unless Wizards is really just trying to make Mythics that much more rare to get with these new boxes. I don't know. We'll have to see after I've opened a few of these. Uh, foil, it doesn't add up. Yeah, like the amount of Mythics I'm getting doesn't add up. Rare Cryptex. And Rare Land, Shadowy Backstreet. And of course, like I said before, they like to double up. Same card. One foil, one not. That seems to be an ongoing thing with uh, Wizards with their products the last several years now. Uh, Gadget Technician. The foil, rare hunted bone brute, another rare under city sewers. Two packs. Um, if they're both mythics, then that puts this basically on par with what draft booster box has been in the past as far as mythic pull rates. Um, if not, then wow, this is <laughs> shitty. Uh, foil Island. Uh, foil Case of the Burning Masks. And here's a mythic. Uh, Vein Ripper. Three and three black for a 6 5 Vampire Assassin. Flying. He has ward, sacrifice creature. Whenever a creature dies, target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. That's a pretty good card. That's cool. I mean, it's expensive, but in commander, it shouldn't be too hard to get out. Cool. All right. And... Last pack. Let's see if we get a mythic here, because five mythics in a box is pretty weak. Swamp, red herring foil. Uh, not a mythic. Cranko, Baron of Tinstry. We gotta get a new Cranko here. Um, two and a red, legendary creature goblin. Three, three, hey, sacrifice an artifact, put a, tap him, sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one, plus one counter on each goblin you control. Whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay one red. If you do, create a 1-1 red goblin creature token. It gains haste until end of turn. Okay. Cool. More goblin-y stuff. Uh, sanctuary wall. Well, um, overall, not the pull rates I was expecting. Here are... Our only, oh, did I put one? I put one in the wrong pile. We should have five here. Yep, there we go. 
Yeah, only pulled five mythics. Two of them were in a single pack. Pride of the whole clade. Vein Ripper, Kaya Spirits Justice, Undergrowth Recon, and Ontrog the Quake Mole, aka the Mole God. Um, yeah, that's not. In my opinion, that's not a <laughs> very good pull rate. Not what I was expecting for these. I mean, ooh ah, ooh ah, you get lots of shiny, flashy commons and uncommons, but whatever. And you get more rares out of the deal overall than compared to a um, draft booster box, what they were. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I open some more boxes, uh, kind of what we average on pulls. But five, I'm not really digging too much. And I was kind of surprised this being a common. I only got three copies. No foil copies of it. Slime Against Humanity. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for viewing. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Comment below if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. Um, since I'm live streaming at the moment. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. Till next time.